Hi, I'm Sharon. And I'm Krista. And we're the directors of the documentary film Vendemia. And for obvious reasons, I'm going to let Sharon talk to you today. Today it'll be my pleasure to talk to you about the Chacatra winemaking tradition, which is one of the most important aspects of our film. Even though um, we are coming to you from Florida, where we, we live and work, we um, would rather be <laughs> in Italy with our friends making the Chacatra on the beautiful slopes of the Cinque Terre. The winemaking tradition is about a thousand years old, if not older, um, and it is one of the most important aspects of the area in terms of sustainability and preservation. As much as our film is about sustainable development, sustainable tourism, ecotourism, and supporting the area in those endeavors, um, it all goes back to the wine. The wine is the oldest tradition in the area and it is one of the most important things that needs to be preserved and sustained. And it is also the one thing that I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody in the Cinque Terre who would like to see this go away. Everybody, all the citizens, all the visitors, everyone is united in wanting to preserve this winemaking tradition. So um, we thought that we might walk you through the profile, what Chacatra actually tastes like. But since neither of us are um, Italian sommeliers, we thought we would pass that over to our dear friend, Nicola Viscardo, who is going to uh, give you a wonderful experience with the Chacatra. You open it up. I love this color. This color is extremely fascinating. It's a beautiful, intense amber color that immediately brings me to Cinque Terre. Now, uh, this wine, if it's properly made, is going to speak about the land. Look at those legs. Um, this, the drops that are coming back into the center of the glass, they're quite slow. So th this tells me that the wine is very big in body, there is probably a lot of alcohol inside and a lot of glycerin. Glycerin is a polyalkyl molecular. It's the one that gives you the soft sensation on the palate. So it's going to be a very silky wine, soft and silk. The first thing that I got, I got chocolate, for example. Dirt. You can actually, you can actually feel, you can hear the, the swearing of the cursing of the farmer fighting. And you can smell that the dirt, the black dirt. Don't forget, this wine is going to tell me about his land. This wine is going to reveal these hundreds of years of fighting between men and the slope. On the palate, the wine is an explosion of flavors. It's definitely sweet. But one of the things that actually, uh, 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 can I say, surprised me was the saltiness. Uh, you can actually taste this ocean breeze that the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean Sea is bringing in, the, and, and, and in layers on the vineyards. So uh, now we are going to enjoy some of the Chacatra that has been given to us by our dear friends in the Cinque Terre. And you can see as we're pouring it out that beautiful color that Nicola talks about. Uh, and here's some of the food that actually goes with it. I thought we'd show you. Yeah. And Nicola does recommend um, very um, strong flavored cheeses. And we of course see it served in the Cinque Terre with uh, biscotti. Uh, it's a dessert. And sometimes all you need is a Chacatra, and that's your dessert. <laughs> and it is a wonderful wine, and so we do hope that you have the opportunity to taste it very soon. And we thank you so much for supporting the documentary film Vendemia. Salute! Salute.